Stand by, camera one. Zoom. Cue him. Terry Shivo has died nearly two weeks after her feeding tube Clear. was removed. Clear. Stand by, camera two. This is KOA of News at 5. I'm Rhonda Justice. And I'm Dow Quick. Cue him. Shivo, the brain-damaged woman, captured national Stand by attention for a as her parents pleaded with her husband over Terry's right to live or die. Reports out of Pinellas Park, Florida, show that feud continued beyond Shivo's death. Reporter Drew Levinson has the latest. Row 5, take the package. The long and emotional battle over Terry Shivo's life is over. One As a member of Florida, a family, ten. unable to stand under your own power, Camera one, you stood clear. with a grace and a dignity, a dignity that made your family proud. And we'll be out to Terry, one we next. love you dearly. But we know that God loves you more than we do. The Michael severely brain-damaged woman died this morning, almost 14 days after her feeding tube was removed. This death Ten. was not for the siblings and not for the spouse Clear. And, and not for the parents. This was this was for Terry. Frank at 50. She, she has a right. Uh, she has a right to die peaceably. Terry Shivo's brother and He's sister were in a bedside anything, a few minutes before the end came, back but not here. there at the moment of death. No, thank a you. A family spokesperson said it's her husband Rodney. told them thank to you. leave. And so his heartless cruelty continues then. until this very last moment. But Clear. Michael Shivo's attorney says uh, he only asked the family it. to be escorted out of the room no, after Drew, they became confrontational. Uh, actually, Terry Shivo's so parents now, so. and her husband okay. have been at odds for years. Michael Shivo argued his wife would not want to be kept alive artificially. Her parents held out hope until the very end that she might improve. But the Same. court sided with Michael Shivo yeah. and ordered her feeding tube removed. Clear. The parents okay. fired back with a flurry of appeals to both the state and federal courts, all of which were denied. Polls showed the public also sided with Michael Shivo, but numerous politicians, including President Bush, believed the courts should err on the side of life. The essence of civilization is that the strong have a duty to Ten protect seconds, the weak. By one. Now there's the question of where to one bury Shiva. Her husband out. wants her cremated and laid to rest in Pennsylvania. Her parents object to cremation and want her buried in Florida. And cure. Watching the Terry Shivo case unfold has been hard for many local health care workers and hospice providers. Stand by newsroom. But they say it's made the public more aware about preparing for death. Sup? KOAM's Jared Stand by Clark newsroom joins full. us now with that story. Newsroom The director full. of the Community Hospices of BL America in Joplin says her emotions have ranged from frustration to sadness because of what both sides of Shivo's Real family sick. has gone through. Take it. The community hospice provides in-home care for about 500 Clear. patients a year. When a new patient comes in, a social worker talks with them about filling out living wills and durable power of attorney forms to make sure their wishes are known. The hospice director says if you take out the government involvement, situations like the Shivo case bite. happen on a daily basis in Missouri. Roll seven. Take the bite. But a lot of the no time out we cue. Their vest. Have asked Clear. Our opinion and have wanted to know Step what we think, um, but have been a little more resistive to sharing what their opinions and their thoughts are. Um, again, I think it comes back to privacy. These are very uh, heart core issues, and people at, tend to deal with them kind of close to the vest. Kim, coming up Stand tonight one. at six, we'll tell you One's what up. a Joplin hospital does next. to try Stand and make camera it two. easier for people to make their end of life wishes known. Jared Clark, thanks. Kim, one's in. Police the Stand autopsy is complete on the body of a woman discovered outside a Joplin business yesterday and they think they know Rolling. who she is. Take it. An employee of Ram Tech Fabrication yeah. found the body nope. inside some You're scrap duct work. Authorities have been in contact with the family of the suspected victim. They're sending fingerprints to a lab to confirm their suspicion. Police say the autopsy indicates the woman's death was not Stand by from natural Cameron causes, one. but they aren't giving additional details. They say she was between 45 and 55 years old. Cure. Offers are expected within two weeks to buy the homes of families with small Rope children five. in the most contaminated it. area of the Tark Creek Super, Superfund site. The state the has next. set aside $3 million to buy homes in the lead-contaminated area Stand of Northeast two. Oklahoma. Government officials say the first offers will be mailed within days. Thank you, Em. Senator Kit Bond came to Southwest Stand Missouri by. today to talk about Six. his fight for more transportation Rope dollars six. for the area. Take it. At a transportation roundtable, the new chairman of the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee Clear. told local officials the state should get a 25% increase in federal highway funding. 
Two priority projects guaranteed funding are the Range Line Bypass and Bella Vista Bypass. Stand by for a bite in seven. Bond says his new Senate Highway Bill would bring Missouri nearly $5 billion. Roll seven. Take the bite. It's last seven. year, but under the budget Thirteen conditions, seconds highway uh, bill. it's about as Clear. good as we can get unless on two, then go on uh, we Stand can by get two. more funds into the pool that Jim Talent has authorized to put into the highway bill. QM. Tonight at 6, KOAM's Lisa Ollig is talking to the new one. director of MoDOT about the impact of federal funding and how the department is working to stretch every dollar. Cure. President Stand Bush says he agrees that the work eight. of the U.S. intelligence community needs substantial improvement. Second. He's reacting to the findings of a presidential Clear. study Stand commission by for a which said five. U.S. intelligence was dead wrong in most of its assessments of Iraq's weapons of mass destruction. Pro five. And the second part because intelligence community um, needs fundamental 20, change. Seconds, to enable us to successfully confront the threats of the video. 21st century. Cure. The president Camera says one with a three shot, quick. his Homeland Security Shit. advisor Lord. to look at the Intelligence Commission report Damn and it. make sure actions are Stand by home. taken. And cue him. That's and it. And if you're going to get rain, well, Damn it. that Two's depends two on shot. where you live. Meteorologist Doug Hetty joins us. Yeah, we saw the clouds roll in during the morning hours. And Hang on. Just mostly cloudy skies all afternoon Fix long. Shot we one. have seen a little bit of rain, but most of it is not reaching the ground yet. So just a few sprinkles out there. But you can see the showers increasing across the area. And it looks like later on dumbass. tonight, probably over the next couple hours, we will start to see scattered showers across I'm the region. I'm talking about myself. And then lasting through tomorrow morning, and eventually we'll break out and see partly sunny skies. Stand by a one. Chilly day, only 55 degrees. The weekend does improve, and we'll talk QM, more about stand the by two to bomb. here in a few minutes. All right, thanks. Thank you, music. And that is stand a look six. at today's top stories, including a check of the weather in your first seven minutes of KOA and Music Broke 5. Six. Still Take ahead, it. the makers of low stand sugar seven. cereal are being sued. We'll explain why a consumer says... The claims are misleading. But it. first, pregnant women could Semi reduce VR. the risk of premature birth with a simple test. We're going to tell you about it in Roll it. Watch. And take the VR. All right, one crumble Live board. from KOAM-TV. Dow Quinn. Rhonda Justice. All right. And meteorologist Doug Henning with Skywatch 7 Weather. Come on. Hello, I'm Olympus from Batarock. Available only at your neighborhood Brahms. QM. A test could Stand ease the one. minds of pregnant women and help ensure a healthy baby. That tops Family Health Watch. QM. About 13% of pregnant women in the U.S. will go Clear. into premature labor. It often happens Stand without any warning. Five. But a simple test could tell women what their chances are of having a preterm Bro delivery. Five. Take the package. 134, go through Monica with Bertram it. has her hands Monica's full. At, she uh, wouldn't 19. have it any other way. I've always said I would have 10 if, if I could. But having even one more was risky. <laughs> Monica's last baby was born premature, so when she became pregnant with Abby, doctors kept a careful eye on her. It's a very helpless feeling to go into preterm labor and them telling you, you know, Claire. you have no more control. This time, a David simple test now. gave Monica control. Fetal phytonectin is a test that is used to uh, give us a, an Clear. idea of whether a patient is at high risk or low risk for preterm delivery. The test measures a protein that holds the baby in place during development. Dr. Barry says it's much like a pap smear. He uses a simple swab to obtain a sample. That sample is processed in about an hour. If the result is negative, patients have a less than 1% chance of delivering prematurely in the next two weeks. If it's positive, doctors can take action. We will bring her to the hospital many times. We'll certainly give her steroid shots to help accelerate the, the maturity of the baby. The test is used on women who are at high risk for preterm delivery. Jennifer Faulkner has a genetic risk factor. What a great Ten. option and a great way to alleviate any anxiety. Claire. The test Claire. worked for Jennifer. It came back negative. Ten. And she's still very much pregnant. Can I hang in your bed? It also worked for Monica. Ten, he stand by, camera one. Full term Go through with happy. CL. Through that with test, we, we were able to have the confidence to have her because otherwise I don't think we would have gone through with it. And QM. The test is about 97% accurate and can be given throughout a woman's pregnancy starting at 24 weeks. Dr. Berry says the only problem with giving the test six. is a po false positive result. <coughs> he says those are unusual. The test is FDA approved and is covered by most Roll insurance six. companies. Take it. An ambitious new study will focus on how to combat the high risk of diabetes and hypertension in African Americans. 
Researchers will follow more than 1,500 patients for five years. The goal is to find out Step how much one. of an impact highly trained doctors and specialized counseling have on controlling the two diseases. QM. New studies suggest Step people at risk seven. developing strokes caused by blocked arteries should consider taking aspirin instead of a common anti-clotting drug. Take it. Researchers say aspirin worked just as well as the medication warfarin in stroke patients with narrowed brain arteries. But those on warfarin Stand suffered one a music higher bomb. death rate and increased bleeding eight. compared to aspirin users. Thank you, music. That is look at today's top Roll health eight. stories. A Take little it. bit later, the return of a wizard. We're going to tell you about the next installment in the Harry Potter book series. Stand but first, VR. meteorologist Doug Hetty returns with his complete report. Roll it. Back to VR. Papa Murphy's, you're Not new in weather. town. So tell me, why were you now? Now, Stand by camera meteorologist two. Doug Hetty with Skywatch 7 weather, oh. featuring Doppler 7000. Zoom. Thank you. Good Thursday evening, everyone. It turned out to be a cloudy day outside for us today. We started Clear. out with sunshine. Clouds thickened up during the morning hours, and we've even seen a few showers over the past couple hours across the region. Mostly cloudy skies is the way it looks right now. We're looking at our tower cam east side of Joplin, back towards the west. And the clouds will be sticking around throughout the overnight hours tonight. Plus, we'll actually even get a few showers. Temperatures chilly. You're clear. With the clouds out there, 59 in Joplin, 61 in Pittsburgh, 61 in Fort Scott, 59 Parsons, Caney, at about 56 degrees. Nevada, 61. Lamar, 59. Carthage, 58. Anderson is sitting at 65 degrees. Outside, let's take a look and see what's been going on. We have been dry all day long, but showers have been increasing out to the west, down through parts of northeastern Oklahoma. And we do have showers out there. Most of this is not reaching the ground yet. But as the atmosphere saturates, that will start to change. So mainly over the next couple hours, you'll start to see sprinkles and then scattered showers across the region. Big storm system, it's just not very strong, but it covers a lot okay. of real estate out there. Most of the heaviest of the rain through Oklahoma, Seven is dead. western parts of Skip Arkansas, deck, and the bulk of this system will pass down to our south. So we will just see scattered showers during the overnight hours tonight into your Friday morning. What Brian, I'm thinking, we'll see, we'll be on the very northern edge. So Flooding. the heaviest rain Seven pulls to the south. Dead, yes. And really, if you live very far north, of Interstate no. 44, your chances for rain be Joe, very, Georgia very flooding. slim. We can break that down for you. It is Let's flooding. say Fort okay. Scott to Office Nevada points <laughs> northward. Very slight chance for a shower. And then about Pittsburgh to Fort Scott, about a 40 or 50 percent chance. Parsons over to Joplin, pretty good shot. You'll at least see skip a scattered deck showers yeah, uh, as you head to northeastern Oklahoma, at. southwestern parts of Missouri. 80 to 100 percent chance, meaning, yeah, you will see scattered showers during the overnight hours tonight. This system out of here by tomorrow afternoon will break out. We will see partly sunny skies, clear and cold tomorrow night, but we stay on the clear side all the way into Saturday, and we'll see mostly sunny skies on Saturday, and temperatures will start to warm back up into the 60s for highs, and we'll continue to go up where, up where, upward from there into the Camera's 70s. Clear by Sunday. 42 tonight, cloudy, scattered, showers, cool, northeast winds 10 to 15, of course a better shot. The further south you head in the metro or viewing area, 55 for your Friday, April Fool's Day, and scattered showers during the morning and then partly sunny skies. Saturday looks pretty good, 65 mostly it's sunny, uh, 75 Lori and Lacey. Sunday mostly Stand sunny, by on one. remember to set your clocks forward, next chance for rain on Tuesday, plus we'll have the month long Q forecast semi camera up, two. Uh, tomorrow night, Story after. it is April 1st, yeah but your forecast for a nice weekend is not your idea of an April Fool's joke, well <laughs> I guess Central we'll Illinois. Illinois. Yeah, that'll be his out if it doesn't work out, <laughs> thanks Doug, Q -M. March Stand is looking like a lion in parts of the Roll U.S. Five. Spring Take storms it. whipped up wicked weather in central Illinois. Pea-sized hail pelted everything in sight. Straight line winds also caused problems Stand knocking down six. several power lines. Funnel clouds were spotted in a couple of Roll communities. Not even cows escaped the high winds of a storm in southeastern Wisconsin. 
The severe weather tore apart a barn and damaged at least a half dozen other buildings. Claire, other regions of Milwaukee were hit with heavy music rain, bomb. lightning, and hail. And QM, music. Now, the government says some debt Semi management eight. companies might have tried to scam you. We're going to have details. Check it. Plus, we'll explain why a car like this might eliminate VR. your concerns about the price of gasoline. Roll it. Check the VR. All right, Meteorologist uh, Doug Hayes' forecast has both the AMS and NWA seals of approval. Right now at Golden Corral, Corral. everyone deserves a good meal. Kim. Government says Semi three companies one. that promise to help consumers deal with debt and to put them deeper in the hole. Kim. The Federal Trade Commission is announcing settlements Claire. with National Bush. Consumer Council, Debt Management Foundation Semi Services, five. and Better Budget Financial Bro Services. Take the it. agency says the companies yeah. claim they would help clients Claire. negotiate with creditors to reduce their debts, but some consumers wound Stand up by with for increased debt, or interest six. rates, and penalties, and some were forced into bankruptcy. The FTC says Absolutely. the companies defrauded consumers out of more than $100 million. The three will pay back a total of around $6 million. Real six. Take the buy. If there are other companies Send. out there no thinking out, no time. that they can uh, deceive full consumers who Semi are in financial distress, screen. we've got three words for them. Debt managers? Give it up. Stand by one. Cue the FTC recommends that consumers choose a debt counselor who right. offers a range of Send services, two. provides a written agreement, and doesn't charge high fees. Cure. A California Cam. woman is suing the cereal industry for what she says is right. misleading advertising. Take it. Her lawyer says consumers are being falsely led to believe that low sugar cereals are more healthful. The suit contends the companies replace the sugar with refined carbohydrates, Every time with them, which I nutritionally makes them no different from regular cereals. General Mills says mm. it never made specific oh, he said no, about then, the cereal. Yeah. Post says yep. low sugar Stand cereal one, is, yep. quote, part of the evolution of the product. And come on, about it. To comment. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. If you're fed up with the rise Stand of cost of gasoline, and you might be glad to get this glimpse Roll into the future. Take it. Some of the world's car yeah, manufacturers stuff. showed off hydro hydrogen-powered vehicles as part of a new federal yep, project. Right. The energy you secretary did ask was him. on I hand to examine when you said the that. engines and to witness the signing mm -hmm. of an agreement between the car makers, fuel companies, and, you know what? and I had the energy department. After he asked General that. Motors Corporation and Daimler Chrysler will develop a small oh, number of cars over the next five years. Fuel cells run on the energy Stand producing camera one uh, hydrogen chat. and oxygen are mix rather one. than using petroleum. The there only byproduct of this type of fuel cell is water. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Plus, you know, hydrogen, and virtually jump. unlimited supply, no pollution. And then buy for cheaper, music yeah. <laughs> eventually. Mm -hmm. Well, the latest book on the Harry Potter series next on KOM Music 5. And music's up. Or, pull things up. Stand by VR. Throw it. Check the VR. Closed captioning brought to you and by QM. He sees patients, Stand makes hospital two. rounds, and they call him RoboDoc. The story of technology tonight Roll on the CBS Evening News. And then on KOAM News at 6, we're going to have more on autopsy results from the body found yesterday at a Joplin business. We're going to talk with a local hospice group about life and death decisions that are made every day. And schools from five states come to the area to interview with future Stand teachers. By one. Join us for the CBS Evening News and KOAM News at 6. Thank you. Um. Now, Harry is about to return. It's been a long time coming, Stand but the next installment five. in the Harry Potter book series will hit the bookstores soon. Reporter Elizabeth Palmer has Row details. five. Take the packet. Harry Potter is about to take off again, standard delivering clear. a fresh round of wizardry, Lister, adventure, and profit for the publishers of this blockbuster children's series. Wow. Young readers have been waiting for two years for the latest installment from author J.K. Rowling. And this is volume six, Harry and the Half-Blood Prince, a whopping 10.8 million copies are being stockpiled for release in July. That's the biggest initial print run in history. Nearly 11 uh, million books may sound like an awful lot. Until you consider that Harry Potter is more than just a story by now. It's become an essential ritual in millions no, of families, okay. including my own. So my six-year-old is just I guess getting the first I'm thinking taste it is. of the Potter magic. And there's a lot the more people in here than in the super room, so... Oh, I know. I'm, I mean, um, the reporter doesn't look familiar. It's actually and, but I've, but the old devoured the first five volumes. He's outgrown Harry now, he feels, but he's still going Elizabeth to curl up with volume six. Once you've been sort of tied up in the lives of these characters, it's quite hard to let them go. 
Spellbound children everywhere are counting the days until they can get their hands on Harry and the Half-Blood Prince. Very, very excited. Can't wait. But when I get out and go fast straight away, I'd like to see him fly in a magical train. The plot is a closely guarded secret, of course. The publishers are only giving the barest of hints. The Half-Blood Prince yeah. is not Harry, and it is not Voldemort. Clear. And there at the, during the Ten book, seconds. there will Stand be a new one. minister of magic. And a delicious new episode to look forward to. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London. Thank you. Um... I can't wait either. Oh, oh beautiful. God. Let's check in with Dog Teddy. <laughs> What's up? Jeez. I'll stick with my Midwest accent here. Scary showers for us White tonight. Shot. Most of you will see the rain. You have a better shot than for the south Stand by place, southwestern on. Missouri, northeastern Oklahoma, northwestern Arkansas. And then morning showers on your Friday, partly sunny in the afternoon, but we clear out just in time for the weekend. Come. All right. Thanks, Doug. Stand by. See you right back here for k for music. Music at 6. Let's make it a great evening. Hit it. You got time. Stand by network. And yeah, it's Brian. Bay music. Pegnet. Good evening. I'm Bob Schieffer. The Pope mm -hmm. has taken He's a turn control. for the worse. Your and Terry Schiavo's long Emory. ordeal has ended. Those Brian. stories.